You and Your Young Child, a program of information and services available for you and your child from prenatal to age five. You and Your Young Child has been brought to you in part by Minor Family Dentistry and by the Sternberg Museum of Natural History. Minor Family Dentistry would like to bring you the following dental health tip. It's recommended to have a dental checkup no later than your child's first birthday. An adult should brush for a young child and monitor older children's brushing to ensure a good job is done. Flossing should start when teeth are touching. Minor Family Dentistry wishes you good dental health. Families, including children of all ages, are welcome. Minor Family Dentistry, 1010 Downing and Hayes. Find them in the next tech directory. A new educational experience is being offered by the Sternberg Museum and they need your help to get it started. This summer, Sternberg will launch new summer camps for students. They're running a fundraiser on rockethub.com to raise funds for supplies and tools. To donate to this cause, go to rockethub.com and search Sternberg Museum. Help them provide experiences for more discovery under the dome. Discovery. Hello and welcome to You and Your Young Child, the program devoted to early childhood. My name is Dana Stanton and I'm the coordinator of Early Childhood Grants for USD 489 right here in Hayes. And with me today is Joan Dunn. Good morning, Joan. Good morning, Dana. Now first thing, Joan, tell us what organization you work for and what do you do there? Okay, I work with the Early Childhood Connections, formerly PAS, for those of you that have been around a few years, and um, I am the coordinator of the Zero to Three part of that program. Okay. Now the first question is, what is Early Childhood Connections? Okay, as I said, Early Childhood Connections is actually a combination of programs. We changed our name because uh, we just have Early Head Start, we have Parents as Teachers, we have Head Start, and we also have the preschool program all under that umbrella. Mm -hmm. Now how do these programs operate in our area here? Well in our area we actually um, divide that age group. Early childhood we're looking at zero to five with the Connections program. Under the zero to three umbrella we have Parents as Teachers and Early Head Start and that is for families of uh, pregnant women and also with children up to age three. And then the three to five program is the preschool program. And under each of those programs, you have different subcategories of home-based programs and center-based programs. So we really have a lot of services mm -hmm. for the zero to five age range. Mm -hmm. Now, early childhood programs, why are they so important? Well, we all know that parents are the child's first and most important teacher. And the brain development, the research that has gone into the neuroscience studies is just phenomenal. But by the time a child is three years old, their brain is 89% per the size that it's going to be as an adult. By the time they go into school, their brain is like 90% of what it's going, going, to going to be. So you need to get those early experiences to lay down the foundation. Mm -hmm. Plus, we know that all of the things that happen during those first five years lay the foundation for their success in school. And school readiness is such a key word right now. We want those children ready to learn. They are born ready to learn. So we're just encouraging what is already happening. Mm -hmm. Now what kind of programs or services do you offer to make sure they're, they're good to go for kindergarten? Okay, in the, the zero to three program, um, the main part of my program are home visits. This is a home based. And the main things that we have, um, depending if your parents as teachers, it's a monthly home visit, C can possibly be twice a month. Early Head Start, it's a weekly visit. And during those time, parenting information, child development, uh, resource and refer referral to needs that the family may have. Mm -hmm. Each year, the child receives an annual screening. This includes development, social emotional, uh, development, vision, hearing, a look at their health history, and um, just uh, another component, we have our group connections. These are uh, activities where parents can get together. There's an educational piece. It may be a fun activity with mm -hmm. parent and child. So there's just a lot of things that are offered through the programs. Mm -hmm. A home visit. Tell me a little more about a home visit. Okay, the home visit, these, uh, I guess I should mention all of these programs are voluntary. Mm -hmm. There are a few requirements. Um, Early Head Start and the Head Start programs, those have a uh, income 
low income requirement mm -hmm. that is looked at first. Parents as teachers is a universal access, which means you just have to live in USD 489. Mm -hmm. And all of these programs are funded through grants, but when you break it down, to the home visits, that's um, scheduled around the families w whenever they work. We have my staff, I have 12 parent educators. They do visits morning, afternoons, mm -hmm. evenings to meet those diverse needs of the parents. Mm -hmm. And that's where all of that information and the screenings and mm -hmm. things like that take place. Mm -hmm. Now you said who may participate. So for Early Head Start, there's income. Explain that a little more one more time. Okay, for Early Head Start and Head Start, these are funded both from state funds and federal funds, but they are, um, one of the key factors is to be of low income, mm -hmm. and that's because preschool services are, you know, are costly, and so we want children that may not, that are in families that may not be able to afford a private preschool mm -hmm. type setting to be able to get those, um, get that, that jump start on mm -hmm. what's going to happen when they get to kindergarten. Mm -hmm. Parents uh, as teachers. Parents as teachers has, um, we are going to be celebrating our 25th year of parents as teachers mm -hmm. this coming year. Hayes was one of the pilot projects, so I'm really excited mm -hmm. about that. We have been around that long. Uh, there are no requirements except mm -hmm. that you live within a school district that provides part of the cash match. Mm -hmm. What are the age of the children for parents as teachers? Okay, parents as teachers can be prenatal with if you're expecting a child, mm -hmm. up to age three, the third birthday. Early Head Start, it's slightly different. It can extend until the child, um, age three, but until they go into Head Start, if the family still income qualifies. Mm -hmm. The cost of these services? They are free. Mm -hmm. Now, Joan, say someone out there says, I would really like to sign up for parents as teachers or learn more about Early Head Start. Who do they contact? How does that work? Okay, the easiest way would be to contact our office. Uh, the 0 to 3 office is located at the high school, and that telephone number is 785-623-2440. And we do have a toll-free number, which is... 866-258-3250. Okay. Now the preschool programs and their that their enrollment is taking place right now for next year. So mm -hmm. even though August, September sounds a long ways off, there's a lot of paperwork and forms, um, making sure they have physicals mm -hmm. and their screenings are d all done. So that enrollment is taking place now. And that number is 785-623-2430. All right. So if you have any questions about Parents of Teachers Early Head Start, you can call Joan or the Head Start office, the Connections 3 to 5 of office. We've got those numbers. They'll be at the bottom of the, the screen. Joan, thank you so much, and congratulations on that 25 years for Parents as Teachers. I know you're a big reason for that success. Thank you. Thank you. You've been watching You and Your Young Child, the program devoted to early childhood. Parents, remember, you are your child's first and best teacher. Thank you. Thanks for watching You and Your Young Child, a program of information and services available for you and your child from prenatal to age five. You can watch the program weekdays in the noon and nine o'clock hours. You and Your Young Child has been brought to you in part by Minor Family Dentistry and by the Sternberg Museum of Natural History.